Welcome everyone, Brett Crowther here with Charles Schwab, and I want to show you a tool that I think a lot of people will find interesting on the Thinkorswim platform, which helps us identify what's hot today, what's not today, and the size of you know how it's impacting the market. And so what we need to do is go into the Market Watch tab on the Thinkorswim desktop platform, and from there, with all these sub tabs down below, we want to click on visualize. And when we do, it'll bring up these options on the left hand side. Now, what this is doing is showing us all the stocks in this case. Let me click on, like, let me uh, just grab uh, like the Dow right here. And so on the Dow, you know, what's going on with the Dow? Which stocks are moving? Which stocks are not? Now, the deeper the green, the more bullish they are on the day. So you can see IBM at this moment is up 6.92%. Um, you can see NVIDIA only up 1.66%, so it's a lighter green, and Microsoft even a lighter green being up only 0.75%. And on the downside, we got Walmart, you know, looking a little bit, uh, what, off a half a percent. J&J a little bit darker red, so that's off 1.4%. Honeywell even a little bit more at 2.6%. So very quickly, we can identify, you know, how it's performing. But also, uh, the size of it will also uh, be... A, uh, the size tells us how big they are with their market cap. In fact, let me go to S&P 500. I think we can see a lot more stocks on this. And if we hover over this, like NVIDIA is the largest box here. It's, it's the biggest stock. We've got 4.5 here on NVIDIA. If we go to Microsoft, 3.9, Apple, 3.0. Oh, so these are really interesting. These two right now are battling back and forth on which one's larger with micro, with uh, market cap. You know, Whether it be Microsoft or Apple. And the bait, you know, continues to go on. One month is Microsoft, next month is Apple. Currently, it looks like it's Apple, but Microsoft is gaining ground very quickly. We'll see where the day ends. It might even switch, right? Another fun thing that can you can do, though, is like maybe I want to look at stocks that have a watch list and just kind of check that watch list really quick to see how they're performing. So I come down to personal. Maybe I'll just grab this one. It only has a few stocks in it. But very quickly, I can see, okay, all right. CRM, Adobe, not doing much. Pan W up a little bit. WRCX is actually doing quite a bit better. Numa Mining is off a bit, right? And I can do that with all sorts of different uh, watch lists that I have. So a quick and easy way to look over positions, to look over the market, get an idea of what's hopping, what's dropping, and then you know very quickly make some decisions or invest, know where to investigate uh, from there. So take a look at it, see what it can do for you, and I uh, hope to catch you next time.